Welcome to Gaming Fin, your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the financial markets. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Capcom. 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 So I already made videos about this about this gaming company from Japan. They have franchises like uh, Monster Hunter, Onimusha, Resident Evil, Street Fighter, Mega Man, all of those games. Obviously, obviously, my friends, you, you know all of those games. I'm absolutely sure about this. So, But uh, why I'm talking today about Capcom? So, uh, because Capcom is a stock I don't own. Capcom is one of those gaming stocks that is just running away. The 11th year uh, Year in a row, they have a uh, what did they say? Eleventh uh, year in a row, they are they are positive. They're, the eleventh year in a row, they have positive numbers. So, on track to achieve eleven consecutive years of full year operating profit growth. I mean, <laughs> oh my! I, I think I think there is probably no other gaming company that uh, that achieves uh, this crazy crazy growth. So here we see, we have the. Uh, the Japanese uh, stock, so at uh, in Tokyo, so PE ratio is now 37. Uh, we even have a dividend. We even have a dividend. I mean, you have to, you cannot invent this. Uh, you cannot invent this. So, yesterday, in Tokyo, in Japan, 15% up. So, and my friends, I'm showing you now the one-year chart. This is the one-year chart. So from September to September. Oh my God, 76% up, and this is not some new growth company that no one ever heard about this is one of the oldest gaming companies in japan the oldest gaming company publishers in japan and now we look at the max chart i mean even look at the max chart so so who would have known that in 2017 seriously who, who would have known that this stock would go up over thousand percent this would have been a 10 mega and who would have known let's be honest also in 2022 i i told myself so yeah yeah i was actually not thinking about buying uh, uh, japanese gaming companies at this point but but here now in uh, when i started also my channel so i was making videos about capcom and i thought like ah, it's just too expensive it's just too expensive the pe ratio is actually expensive but hey this company seems to grow into the pe ratio and I was even thinking beginning of this year, I thought like, come on, this stock comes back. Maybe when it comes back here around about uh, 2,400 uh, uh, yen, then then I would buy it. But hey, guys, I didn't expect something like this. So this is simply crazy because the numbers are actually very good. So I mean, this stock has good numbers. But on the other hand, here also, I'm not a financial advisor, YouTuber, retail investor, myself, gamer. So everything for information and educational purposes. Because, hey, guys, if you would have bought in 2008, wow, you would have taken, it would have taken you probably, oh my God, yeah. Look, nine years. On the top of 2008, nine years, you would have had this stock and you would have not earned anything not earned anything and then probably the moment it would have gone up then a little bit like 50 percent in 2018 most of you guys would have sold so probably i would have sold myself and then ah oh, yeah in 2018 november you would have said good that i have sold i mean look the stock went down and then actually this is this is when it when it started so and we're still in this craziness so there's also an adr so here ADR, even since 2014. So probably most, most of us wouldn't have bought, of course, the Japanese stock in Japan, but since 2014, there's an ADR. So hey, also great, 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 greater Capcom. Great, greater Capcom. So check out the financial results here. You get so much information. So they're extremely professional. Everything in English for a Japanese company. This is always pretty cool. Everything in English and also a lot of information. So we have the consolidated financial results now for the three months. I like this. That's really, it's really clear. Everything is really clear here. That's that's pretty amazing. So financial results, three months end at 13th of June. So net sales, operating income, ordinary income, and net income attributable to owners of the parent. Of course, everything in yen, not in dollars here. So we have, my God, net sales. Guys, the net sales here in this year are up. The net sales this year up 70 3.8% with regard to 2022. So 
2022 my god so this is crazy this is crazy guys so operating income 99 percent up with good to 2022 year on year year over year pardon so earnings per share earnings per share also up almost double guys so financial positions net assets shareholders equity ratio dividends we have here even even they pay dividends i mean they go up like crazy and they still pay dividends so this is simply crazy so here we also have have a, a press release so capcom today announced that it that in its consolidated business results for the three months ended june 30th 2023 net sales were about 43 44 yeah, 43 million yen up trend at 73.8 percent year over year operating income was 24 million yen up 99.4 percent year over year so almost doubled almost 100 percent that means almost doubled ordinary income was 25.8 million yen so up 102 percent year over year a net income attributable to owners of the parent was 18.16 million yen over 101 uh, percent during the three months ended capcom's core digital contents business delivered sales of 13.5 million units for its home video game software 13.5 million units they sold and dragon's dogma 2 is not even out yet <laughs> surpassing the 11.7 million units in sales in the same period of the previous year and significantly contributing to the value of the company's content the company achieved this with the release of major titles in its flagship series including street fighter 6 as well as through pursuing catalog title sales digitally, which led to the growth in sales volume globally. Further, the company grew earnings by promoting efficient operations at stores and new store formats in its arcade operations business. Oh my god, I wanna go in the Capcom arcade so much, guys. I mean I wanna I wanna I wanna spend a night in a in a Capcom and a capcom uh, uh okay this would just this is just a dream this is a dream for a gamer so while selling existing machines that utilize its popular ip in its amusement equipment business so i want to go there so as a result sales and profit increased year over year in capcom's consolidated business results for the three months ended june yeah, blah, 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 putting the company on track to achieve 11 consecutive years full year operating profit growth uh, with the focus on the consolidated business results for the current fiscal Fiscal year ending here the forecast now is important so for next year it remains the same as what was projected at the financial results announcement in may 10th so what what did they announce so i don't know so here we see forecast here we see the forecast so blah, 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 blah. yeah ending all right so of course we have to put this in relation then to know if those numbers are good and here we have more 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 information and here is a little presentation here again so sales of street fighter 6 surpassed 1.97 million units in the first quarter so i played this game i mean it's street fighter hey guys i can tell you it's street fighter it's nothing so special hey right? but uh, I don't understand. I mean, it's amazing. And then you have games, uh, companies like like uh, like Take Two or or companies like <laughs> Ubisoft and, and Embracer. But hey, Capcom is stealing. Capcom is stealing. So again, the numbers, the numbers aiming for eleven consecutive years. Again, the numbers, three months results, net sales, operating income. Yeah, here we here we see a little bit from where all. All of this is coming so digital contents arcade operations amusement equipments and other businesses so those are their businesses of course balance sheet statement of cash flow so also a lot of numbers very transparent a lot to see so japanese companies are honestly very transparent but sometimes a bit too many numbers because uh, most people like would uh, are probably not reading all through this so uh, i would say the retail investor but i know guys you are doing this of course so three months highlight so <laughs> resident evil 4 also 5 million so street fighter 6 2 millions units Mega Man battle network legacy collection so what the heck i mean those are japanese uh, games probably not even uh, released in the wet in the west yet monster hunter rise sunbreak resident evil 2 3 monster rise also all making big 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 coins so three months highlights opened kids banned shizuoka store on 
yeah, in April, Crazy Bennett at Aeon Mall Niyama. And they have cool kid stores. Oh my God, I want to go there. So three month highlights, total 3000 units sold. What did they sell here? The amusement equipment. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those are the, the popular Pachislo, uh, uh, amusement, uh, titles. So catalog titles. Shin Onimusha 2. What the heck is this? I want to play that. <laughs> Monster Hunter Iceborne. <laughs> Three months highlight here in the business segment, promoting single content, multiple usage strategy in conjunction with game sets. So actively carried out merchandising for goods related to major titles. New full length CG animation movie Resident Evil Death Island in Japanese theaters in July 7th. Oh, I want to see this movie. Esports tournament Capcom Pro Tour 2023 kicks off in August, aimed to promote sales of feature titles. Street Fighter 6, my god, they're doing everything right, guys. They do everything right. Capcom owns a wealth of globally popular brands originating from its games. Resident Evil series, 146 million units sold. Street Fighter series, 52 million units. I'm a big Resident Evil fan. Monster Hunter, 94 million units. And then also Dragon's Dogma, 7.7 million. So guys, I mean, it's, it is crazy. This is crazy and the chart looks crazy. So am I going to invest? No, guys, I'm not investing in this. I mean, even if this chart just continues going up, I have I have this anchor effect and probably psychological problems, but I cannot invest in a stock that went up now like 15%. So, I mean, I, I am also invested in Facebook. I was also pretty happy yesterday uh, when it went up 10% or today. But hey, guys, this is simply crazy. This is simply crazy. On a, on a one year chart, it doesn't even look so so crazy. On the on the five year chart, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, on the five year chart, it looks also a bit better. But uh, I I'm not sure. I don't. The problem is here now. I I bought a Bandai Bandai Namco. I have a Bandai Namco, and I have also uh, the other uh, uh, da, 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 the other uh, yeah Square Enix and Bandai Namco. I have so Capcom. I don't have, and I I would say I I missed the train here, and I expect this stock probably coming back, but hey, maybe not even significantly. Maybe Capcom just uh, run through the train station uh, uh, to uh, for the uh, for the for another two three years. So who knows? But guys, no investment advice because. Honestly, this is just crazy. And if you missed it, you missed it probably. And I would not I would not short it. I would not buy it right now. I just love the company and I would just love to earn uh, to own the company but probably would have loved to uh, to have bought the company uh, in 2022. So that's what I that's a bit my opinion about this. So if you're in it, congratulations. If not, guys I mean, I'm not giving you stock advice, make your own research, but for my part, I'm not buying this now, but I love the company. So P ratio is also a bit too high for a gaming company for me personally. All right. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.